Welcome back to Leading Edge. So we know that there are some innocent people living, should probably say existing, in our state prisons. One study says one in 25 currently on death row, that's death, as in slated to die, are actually innocent. And as I said earlier, if just 1% of the nation's prison population is actually innocent, did not do the deed, that's some 20,000 people in this country wrongfully behind bars. And we're examining one case in which two men from Toledo are in prison. They're in separate facilities. Um, and uh, the Ohio Innocence Project is involved in Brian Duggar, lead investigator WTOL, has been working this thing hard. What does the local prosecutor's office have to say about these latest developments, Mr. Duggar? As much as you want to reveal. <laughs> Well, they have not been very receptive to the idea of looking at this case. They say they're 100% certain that these guys are innocent, even though at this point, no one is saying they're guilty. How about so, that? Or, I'm sorry, yeah, 100% certain that they're guilty. <laughs> wow, that's an amazing thing. Well. I think as some people, and I have a chance, I got to see the, the, the half hour special that Brian produced. Um, I think when you watch it, this Wednesday, coming up Wednesday, 5.30? Yep. All right. I think some of you are going to say, well, they've got to just re-examine this case. We've got to go back and, and, and look at this based on new info. What needs to happen for that to take place? Well, I think the prosecutor's office could just decide to look at this case again um, with a fresh set of eyes and you know, determine whether they think these, these two were wrongly convicted, which I think the evidence shows that they were. They have the power to do that, Brian, you're reporting that at this point you're not sensing any inclination for them, any interest in doing that. Is there any DNA evidence at all, one way or the other in this case? No. I wish, I mean, I wish that there were. I wish it were as simple as let's get a DNA test and prove that they're innocent, but there was no DNA. Now they, they looked for some DNA, but none was ever found either way either implicating Carl and Wayne or that could be used to exonerate them. Brian, this was supposed to be, and I'm so sorry for the family of the victim, low these many years, this was supposed to be an up close and personal kind of attack, right? Yeah. And yet yeah. there was no DNA evidence, no blood spatter. That's right. And they tested Wayne and Carl's shoes and clothes. And you would think Travis actually testified that Carl got on top of Maurice and shot him at close range, you would think there would be some blood splatter. There is evidence now missing from the files. You don't have to give me all the details. There is evidence on this case that you went looking for that no longer exists, but should. Yeah, and I think it's key evidence that was mentioned throughout the trial and it's missing. Now, the Ohio Innocence Project, I wanna make this very clear. Correct me if I'm wrong, does not seek to get a criminal off because of an evidentiary problem or prosecu prosecutorial misstep, or does it? I mean, aren't you about exoneration? Yeah, the Ohio Innocence Project is set up to help people who were wrongly convicted and who are actually innocent of the crimes that they're serving time for. So we work on cases where the individuals were not involved in any way in the crime. We don't take cases such as a self-defense case or, um, you know, something where someone might say, well, you know, they, they got me, but the evidence they obtained, they obtained the evidence wrong, wrongly, and so I shouldn't have been convicted. Those are not the kinds of cases we take. We take cases where the person was not involved at all. Do the defendants in this case, or the conviction in this case, are they still clinging to hope? Yes. Carl has a lot of hope, Wayne has a lot of hope, and I do too, eventually, hopefully, that they'll be home. You gonna stay with us? Yes. Uh, uh, there is oh so much more to this story. I mean, two men remain behind bars um, years later while the cases against them have produced so many holes over the years. What happens to them? What about a new bombshell dropped by Travis Slaughter's ex-girlfriend that could go to motive? What about jurors all these years later? Brian's talking to all of these people. It's an amazing story. You're going to want to check it out right here on WTOL 11. Again, it's coming up this Wednesday, 530 on WTOL 11. That's right.
It's an amazing piece of work by you, young man. Thank you for the work you are doing and for spending time with us here. Um, Jennifer Bergeron, Sarah Martin, The Ohio Innocence Project. This is Leading Edge. I'll be right back.